Hello everyone, I thought I'd start my SAS playlist with a nice simple video on how to create scatter plots and histograms. Uh, the first thing I'm going to talk about are scatter plots. So to create a scatter plot, it's very simple. We're just going to use the PROC GPLOT procedure. So I already have my data here. We just manually input the data, three variables, X, Y, and Z. The first thing I'd like to do is create a scatter plot of Y versus X. So PROC G uh, G plot is what we're going to use. So proc G plot will specify the data equals demo. Now, inside of here now, uh, once we specify the procedure, the next thing that we need to do is just say plot Y versus X, or really Y asterisk X. Once we have that, just go ahead and run. And there we have it, there's our scatter plot. Now, the good thing is it was incredibly easy to make this scatter plot. The bad thing is there's no title, there's no axis labels. So let's go ahead and add those things. Adding the title is nice and easy. All we need to do is just say title, no equal sign, just single quote, and then whatever we want the title to be, demo title. And let's run this, make sure it worked. There we have it, there's our scatter plot with the demo title, looks good. Uh, let's add some axis labels now. Let's say axis one, label equals, make sure you have parentheses here, and then we'll say label for x axis. And let's do the same thing for an axis two, label equals and label for y axis. Now, don't run yet, we're not done with these labels. Now we need to come down to where we're plotting and we need to specifically say that axis one is going to be the horizontal, axis two is going to be the vertical. So we'll say H axis is equal to axis one, B axis is equal to axis two, and now we can go ahead and run. And now there we have it. We have Y axis label, X axis label, and now we have the title. Everything's looking good. The last thing that I want to do is incorporate this Z variable. So we've already plotted Y versus X. So now let's incorporate the Z and let's say we want to plot Y versus X by Z. And what I mean by that is that if, let's say just for this observation, if the Z value for this observation is a one, let's give it some other symbol than let's say this observation which has a Z value of a zero. Uh, so just depending upon what the Z value is for each observation, give it a different symbol for zero and then for one and so on. Now, fortunately our Z value, if you look at it, only takes on two different uh, values. So it should just be two different symbols. Now doing this is incredibly easy and we can just say Y versus X is equal to Z. This is going to essentially plot these two by Z. So now let's go ahead and run. And there we have it. So if the Z value is a zero, that gave a nice blue circle. If it is a one, then it gave a plus. And now we can see uh, we have Y versus X, and now we can also see the Z value from it. And that all looks good for scatter plots. Now let's go ahead and move on to histograms. Uh, for histograms, it's going to be a different procedure. So now it's going to be proc G chart instead of G plot. So G chart, and we can specify the data again. And now inside of this procedure, we're going to say V bar instead of just plot, it's going to be V bar and then specify whatever, uh, whatever variable we want here. I'm going to select Y. And now run again, and let's go ahead and run just this procedure. And there we go. Now here's our histogram for Y, but notice uh, the demo title stayed. So the title that we set for our scatter plot is now the same one for our histogram. So it's going to carry over. If you want to specifically change the title, make sure that you do that uh, once you start your next procedure. But okay, that does it for scatter plots and histograms. If you're wondering how to create a line of best fit, I will cover that, but I'm going to wait until I start a linear regression video. So I hope this helps. Post any questions or concerns below.